Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and in response to many requests from uh, players, uh, I'm going to show you how to install Realism Overhaul and Realism Visual Enhancements. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is downgrade your version of Kerbal Space Program. Now, I'm doing this in July 2017, so this is a specific pattern of events. We need uh, version 1.2.2, which is slightly older, but it is compatible with the correct mods. And honestly, you're not missing that much if you're not using 1.3 at this time. So when, when you set that up, it will start downloading the old version. And while that's downloading, now is a good time to pick up the other things you need. You will need CCAN, that is your mod manager that makes handling the installation of everything else easier. Uh, you are also going to need Principia, you're going to need real uh, solar system visual enhancements which uh, is available in a RC3 candidate, okay? And you're also going to need Scatterer. Scatterer is required by this, but the version that CCAN delivers is not correct. So you need version 0 0.03, to, so go to the Scatterer page, and instead of clicking on the download link, go to the change log. The change log will have the older versions, and down there is 0 0.03. Again, this may have changed, so read the relevant threads when you uh, are doing this yourself. This I know this video is going to be watched for months to come, right? Principia is available via GitHub. Um, it's got fancy names based upon various mathematicians. In this case, it's Koshi who, um, yeah, that will be the one you're using. Great, so we have Kerbal Space Program here. So you're going to right-click on Properties, go to Browse Local Files, and that will give you access to your Steam Directory. And you're not going to install any of this in your Steam Directory. You're going to copy Kerbal Space Program from there, make a separate copy completely. Don't just drag it, right-click, copy and paste, because you don't want to obliterate your Steam install or whatever. And uh, thanks to the magic of video editing, this is playing a lot faster than I than uh, I experienced it. So after you've got that, now the next thing you want to do is put the CCAN executable inside the Kerbal Space Program directory, uh, and then you're going to run it from here. So that will update itself from the internet, it'll grab a, the latest version of the code, and it'll grab the latest version of the mod libraries. So this is going to be... 99% of your modding. It's just that right now it's quite common to find mods that don't work or have dependencies that aren't quite there or just things for which the licensing isn't supported. So I'm going to look for realistic progression zero. That is career mode for realism overhaul. It forces you to have the large planet, you know, the regular solar system, and you might as well go for the highest resolution textures unless you have some memory issues. If you don't have a 64-bit uh, computer, you should think very hard before doing this. So yeah, just do that. Click apply. It will tell you everything that's required, but it'll just get them for you. It'll also then throw up a bunch of recommended things, and I usually would just select all of those. And again, thanks to video editing, I can sit here and watch this, doing this at many, many times regular speed. These things are all getting downloaded from the internet, put in the cache, except that apparently Blizzy's toolbar is no longer available. Uh, this literally worked a couple of days ago, but is no longer available. His website seems to no longer be hosting this. So um, that's going to be interesting. So to skip around that, I just go to the apply page and then unselect toolbar. You might have to do this for other mods. You might have to find substitutes from the Kerbal Space Program forums. The point I'm making is that mod development, there's been a lot, there's a bit of churn, there's a bit of turnover as uh, people stop modding and things get abandoned and left to rot. Okay, so we've installed that. The other thing we want to install is environmental visual enhancements, right? So that is a requirement for RSS. And I actually noticed that CCAN also included RSS visual enhancements. So I thought, let's just select that and see what happens. So install that. I had downloaded it separately, but apparently it has since been added to CCAN. You'll notice that it doesn't include Scatterer in the dependencies, even although the forum page explicitly says that it needs Scatterer. So you're still going to have to get that separately. So I've got that. That's installed. Now let's install these different parts. Scatterer is in a zip file. You just want to like 
open that up and look inside it, right? So it's a zip open, look inside the game data directory, uh, no, sorry, look inside the game data directory and copy the scatterer folder. Now, all the mods for Kerbal Space Program go inside the game data directory. There's a bunch of different uh, directories in here. So just add in scatterer there. And the other one that we had for you know, perusal for addition here was Principia, which again is up in this directory. Principia, Koshi. I'm probably mispronouncing that. I'm not really big on mathematicians' names. So again, copy that into the game data directory. And that has you got a working install. Now, of course, you can use uh, CCAN. You can find all sorts of extras. If you look at the Kerbal Space Program forums, there are many possible options for extra things, extra engines, uh, extra you know help, extra utilities, extra UI. They're all in there, and most of them kind of work. Some of them will not work. But, yep, yeah, here we go. So... Once you do this, you're going to find that your old games are incompatible because, of course, your old launch site is now at the core of the planet Earth. So just create a new version of your save file. If you're using Realism Overhaul, you might have to disable things or modify your settings for remote tech or test flight or uh, construction time. And uh, you'll see the nice atmosphere, you'll see from space that now we have all the launch sites, we have clouds everywhere, and we have realistic scale rockets that will carry us, well, not as far as regular Kerbal Space Program rockets. Note the UI differences on the nav ball there, that is entirely down to Principia, which is, you know, making things cool. So yeah, that is everything you should need to make the kind of most realistic Kerbal install. You know, as I said, things may change, but, you know, we've covered all the principles. CCAN, we've covered downloading from places, we've covered installing stuff. Just keep an eye on those threads and read them if you have any problems. And you should be able to install this. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe. Mm -hmm.